Now we come to the end of the show. The professor has clearly carried the day with our audience, but what about you, Chad? Do you believe our elections are safe and secure? To symbolize the choice you have to make, Mr. Faustus will present you with a black pill. Take the pill and you'll forget everything that transpired today. You'll have no worries over defective machines or rigged elections. You'll continue to receive your regularly scheduled programming. Reject the pill, however, and you'll have to live with the consequences of that choice. You'll have to face a world that is in chaos. Chad, will you break that feed? I'll never take that black pill. Someday when the war is finally won After all the damage has been done You will look around and have to ask yourself Did you wake up with the lions or did you just stay asleep? Sorry to interrupt this uh, happy ending. Uh, what's that, Rube? You need to send them home. Tell them we had a water main break. Uh, water main break? Yeah, tell them it's not safe to be here. We need to uh, evacuate the building. You'll have to tabulate votes uh, with no observers while everyone else goes home. Everyone except Chad, you stay right there. Oh, and Chad, you heard the announcer. You rejected my black pill. Um, that means you have to live with the consequences. By your choice, you become a purveyor of malinformation. You are a threat to democracy, a threat to our narrative. Nurse, give him his medicine. Ouchie. Director Ray, we've got to dispose of these listless vessels. Take the professor far, far away from here. And um, we need you to put Chad with the other uh, domestic terrorists and um, uh, insurrectionists. <laughs> Does anyone notice that the election rigging Biden administration never goes after the riggers, but only after those that want to catch and expose the rigging dogs? They are rigging dogs. They are horrible cheaters and liars. When you get calls all hours of the night and have to constantly look over your shoulder every time you get off a plane or into a neighbor. Yeah, push, me me. push me. Push me. We won't quit. Even if you kill me, I will come back and haunt you. You might walk up to someone's door who has a gun in your face, and they would do America proud to blow your brains out. They will never shut me up and kill me first. I have not yet begun to fight. The FBI came after me and took my phone and surrounded me at a Hardee's. If you arrest me, I can call my lawyer. But if you don't arrest me, I can't call my lawyer and you can steal my livelihood here. Eric Coomer did this directly to me. And I made one statement about him. Didn't say nothing for a whole year. Then you guys come up and serve me papers in Colorado. When you say lumpy pillows, now you're in <laughs> You got that? They sued my pillow under the premise that I'm doing this to make, my representing my pillow to make money for my pillow. 
as I'm getting canceled every day, retailers, shopping channels, just getting destroyed. This is a big lie. You're a lying lawyer. You're an evil, evil man. What exactly did you do wrong to be treated like a dangerous criminal by your government that you pay for? Well, we don't know because the warrant doesn't say. Well, we're considering here how to rewrite this so it's not going to throw us all in jail. Who's threatening you with jail time? That's our point. I vote aye under duress. I found out today that I have no choice but to vote aye or I'll be arrested and charged with a felony. Former advisor Peter Navarro is at this hour in federal custody and about to make a court appearance. Already facing a dizzying crossroads of nearly unprecedented legal and political challenges, Donald Trump's trail of criminal indictments has grown longer. The Georgia case marking the fourth indictment of the ex-president since the end of March. Over the last few days, we have seen mugshots released as the 19 defendants in the Fulton County case have started turning themselves in for booking. We have never before had a mugshot of a United States president, current or former, but now we do. While today we are announcing charges against these 16 defendants, this remains an ongoing investigation, and our department has not ruled out potential charges against additional defendants. I look forward to presenting the evidence in court and to a swift, speedy, and deliberate resolution that best serves the interests of justice. I'm letting you know that, that as we get close to the end here, I would much rather treat your Mr. Lindbergh as a, as a witness as opposed to a suspect. I, I find it a bit offensive that you would think that this, this whole thing for me is politically motivated. Jeff Lindbergh served this country for 31 years with the highest national security clearances. So yeah, you can be offended, but I know the man and I know what you guys are putting in. Jake, can you hear me? Yes, Professor. Good morning, brother. Hey, how are you doing? Just trying to uh, maintain the, the resolve around here and keep everybody moving forward with hope in their hearts. So I've been detained indefinitely nearly three years into my incarceration waiting for a trial. Um, and now they have started to arrest my star witnesses. You have one minute remaining. You know, like the Todd death march that's out of the unit and I got thrown up against the wall, punched in the gut. It was an act of psychological warfare that you do to prisoners of war. We didn't know where we were going, why they were moving us. It was like the crack of dawn. Thank you for using Global Telling. Global Telling.